Santa keeps a list. Naughty, nice. Naughty, nice. Naughtier? What happens when you're on that list? Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. Hey, it's Kyla Denanyo and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. So today we are talking about the book, Naughtier Than Nice. The author of the book is Eric Jerome Dickey. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is literature, African-American literature, also holiday. <laughs> so throw that in there. So Naughtier Than Nice is the sequel to Naughtier Nice. We talked about this one. Great. You follow the McGroom sisters. Frankie, Livy, and Tommy. And then in Naughty or Nice, you get to see the continuation of their story. So I gotta get in here. One of the biggest, most important things in the entire book is maiden names. And when you read the book, you will understand that. Frankie and Frankie are together, about to get married. What's gonna happen with that maiden name? Livy is going through stuff with her husband. She gonna go back to her maiden name. And then you got Tommy. Tommy wants to change her maiden name too. So it's like, okay, all these people and their maiden names. Ah, 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 ah. Somebody else is using their maiden name and throws a whole stink bomb in the whole thing. <laughs> and you're just like, where'd that come from? Well, who did that? If you read any Air Drum Dickey books, you're like, okay, well he gives these little tales. So you're like, who's the person in this car? Maybe they're from a past book. What's going on, what's going on? No. So when you find out who is using their maiden name and completely blows up the whole party, you will just be like, what? So maiden names are so important because you have all these different relationships where people are changing and using their maiden names. And you're just like, you're changing yours, you're going back to yours, you're not using yours, all, the, all these different things. And it's incredible how one name, one last name can completely change so much, right? And it's also telling for the entire series because Livy and Frankie are sisters, same parents, and then Tommy comes in who has a different mom and they all become McBroom sisters. So that is really important too because it's not a maiden name, but it's a name change. That was still so cute because they take her in and she's part of the McBroom sisters. So, so yeah, so I love this book. I loved digging into the life of Tommy, Frankie, and Livy again, finding out what's going on, finding the surprises, right? You got a lot of great relationships and you get to see them develop after a series of years because Naughty or Nice, again, is the follow-up to Naughty or Nice. So it's pretty interesting. It's very, very compelling to read. So would I reread this book? You already know I would. I would reread it just for Frankie and Frankie. Those two Frankies are so cute because at the end of Naughty or Nice, Frankie meets this man and you're just like, yes! Oh, Frankie, finally! Right? And so you get to see their relationship develop in Naughtier or Nice. And you're like, go Frankie, go Frankie Square. Cause Frankie the woman is dating a man named Frankie. And you're just like two Frankies, two Frankies, right? It's so cute, it's absolutely cute. So yeah, I would definitely reread the books because you're reading them and you're just like, I love the McBroom sisters. They are absolutely cute. I love their relationships. I love how they tease each other. Yes, I would definitely reread Naughtier or Nice. So. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help YouTube share book reviews, share these type of videos with more people. And thank you for hanging out as we discuss the book, Naughtier or Nice, okay? So I am covering an Eric Drum Dickey book every single day for 12 days as a part of Vlogmas 2022. I appreciate you hanging out with me and watching this video. And I'll see you next time on Kyla's Reading Day. Bye.